What's up guys, we're out in Louisville area over here at the Guitar Center. Just picked up some spare sticks. I actually uh, have an opportunity to play my first live show. My first live show this weekend. And uh, so I had to pick up some extra sticks. I know I'm probably gonna be breaking them. I always play on my electric kit and I got some acoustic kit rental that I'm using and so brought the double pedal so I can do some practicing with the band tonight. But uh, I wanted to do some fishing because there's about an hour before sunset and I'm right here at like 121 and 35. There's a lot of places right here to fish. A lot of opportunities so I brought a few rigs. When I get to the water I'll update you on what they are and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, we made it. And <laughs> the hardest part was picking which spot to fish because there's so many bodies of water right here and so many catches reported but guitar center was like right over here so i was like just pick the closest one because i got to get to fishing so anyways i'm right here off lake vista drive and we are going to give this shot wait spot a shot toss the crankbait out there see what we can't muster up man this is nice got a little place to walk oh that'll happen Sunset's just right around the corner. We ain't got time for this. The thing is, it's kind of a battle. Like, if I turn up the brakes to max, then this little crankbait, like, I can't even get any distance at all. But if I back off just a little bit, uh, this, is on, this is a 1 through 10 scale on this one, and I'm at, like, 7. If I back off a little bit more, you know, I can actually get some distance. <laughs> like, it's not even that far from here to the other side, but I can hardly get this thing across there. But I can actually get some distance with the brakes on 7. That was perfect. That was, like, a foot away from the other side, if that... Uh, but on the trade-off of maybe backlashing more because this thing's so light. Oh, there it goes again. That's number two. I haven't got in front of the right one's face yet. There goes the third backlash in seven minutes. Oh, oh my God. One just went after it right here. Okay, on the move back to the truck. We're going to go try something different, but we'll do a speed speed challenge on the way back. We're going to toss this guy and get backlashes. That's the goal. That's the goal. I think that's five now. We're walk trolling. I think we could like actually get a fish like this. I want to walk the whole thing. Okay, we still got him. We're trolling him like seven feet behind us. Oh, oh, we actually caught one. That's how you do it. We got one. He did not even bite it. That's how you troll with a crankbait right there. Now, the challenge is getting this out of homie's mouth. Hopefully I'm recording. That was pretty legit right there. Yeah, you can tell he's cold. He's not even moving. There he goes. Well, that was easy. There we go. That's how you troll with the crankbait. I think we could get a, I think we could get another one like that. I've never seen that done by the way comment below if you've ever seen that done walk well, I don't know what to call it walk controlling <laughs> that was pretty uh, legit right there in case y'all are wondering that was this little guy right here caught me that little guy right over there what you think I bet you there's a bigger one all right here's the technique folks never been done before here's the technique you get a heavy enough lure that it actually takes out line you want to give it about a six foot six plus. Uh, that might be too much. Let's see. No, no, that's perfect. Just go a little bit further than your rod and then let old Crank do his thing. He's right in, there he is, there he is. He's right there, he's right there. Now we walk and talk and we just catch fish. That's all we do. Walk, talk, catch fish. Next one's gonna be bigger. I've never seen this. So awesome. You couldn't ask for a better spot to do this. It's like, you've got your own little walking trail right here. How funny was that? Is this considered fishing? It's cheating, if you ask me. I was literally thinking as this couple walked by on the sidewalk up here, how stupid I probably look doing this, walking with my pole like tilted down in the water. I bet you they were like making fun of me, like what is that kid doing? And then here I am, catching them tiny old largemouth bass. We're about to upgrade in the size department though, I can feel it, I can feel it. I also feel like when they do grab it, they're just gonna take this thing out of my hand because maybe I should, maybe this is part of the technique as well. Proper leverage when you're cranking. That's how you do it. I think we're really onto something. Oh my gosh, rocks. We gotta avoid them, but I bet you they're hanging out by them. More rocks, rocks everywhere. 
if we don't catch them, we're gonna lose this crankbait. If I get one more like this, it wasn't luck, and this is actually, this is actually an angling technique. I might have just got bumped. I don't think that was a rock right there. Let me check old Cranky. Looking good, business as usual. So far, it appears to have been luck. The crankbait pretty much went after that fish. I don't think the fish even went after the crankbait. I think he was just sleeping and then the crankbait just totally sideswiped him. That's the problem is I'm scaring him with the vibrations, but we don't really care. All we need is one out of a hundred. We don't need the other 99 that we scare away. Oh, that's a shoe. Oh my God. Oh, I want you. Forget trolling. I want you. Come here. Come get it then. All jump and no bite? I don't think so. You better grab this crankbait. I know you're there. Damn, there's another big one over there. Folks, they are jumping now. Do I troll or do I cast out? I've gotten one on that other technique. I haven't gotten any casting yet. But they are right here. Should have went right to begin with. Dang. How much time do I have left? If I leave here at 5.30. Oh, dude, that's only 13 minutes. All right, I got to get to work. Oh, don't backlash. Okay. I was really pushing the limits on casting distance with that one. Got about five more minutes before we need to head back to the truck that's way over there at this point. I was covering a lot of ground doing that, walking and talking. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try the troll again, because we don't care. Well, there goes six backlash in 30 minutes. What you really want when you do this technique is an eight foot rod. That way you can get it way out there. Comes more people that think I look retarded walking like this. Wait till I catch a fish. Something better grab a hold right now and make me look good. Well folks, I didn't have to look at the sign, but I chose to. It appears we're not allowed to fish this. The truck is like a mile away. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Good.